great to be here. It's great to be part of an event that so elevates the sport of boxing. When we compare it to other events, major events like the Super Bowl, even the Olympics, we get worldwide attention to those <coughs> events. And it's been rare that that worldwide attention focuses on a boxing match. And believe me, with the help of everyone, the world, the entire world, will be watching May 2nd in the United States, May 3rd in Asia, but they'll all be watching this great event unfold. And it's a credit to the sport of boxing that we've been able to put on such an event. So I want to thank you, Lennon, for your great cooperation. It really has been great. Everybody said, hey, with the animosity, with the camps, you'll never get this done. But that's not true, because it's been seamless. Everybody's been cooperative, except the senior over there, who's staring at me. He's my friend. He's been my friend forever, right, Lloyd? Yeah. Now we're all family. We're all part of this. We're all part of this boxing family, and we're all uh, so proud to be able to present this event. Manny Pacquiao has been back by HBO since the beginning of his career. The first time he came on the scene was as a substitute when he was brought in and he won a world title in his first appearance on HBO. And since then, HBO has been behind him 100%. They built his career, they built his image, and they made him a personality that the public sees today. I want to thank personally the great chairman of HBO, Richard Plepler, the head of programming, Mike Lombardo, and of course, the head of sports, Ken Hirschman, who's here with us today. So Ken, you should be very proud today that you have helped make this event possible. Ken Hirschman, ready Rose. It's just, uh, I'd really like to thank all the people that made this fight happen. Um, I love challenges. This is the biggest challenge of my life. It's finally here. It's finally in front of me. I get to, I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. I'm going to get my fighter as ready as possible. We are in the toughest fight of our life. Uh, we're fighting the best fighter in the world. Um, and we're going to kick his ass. And so I'm going to kick his ass. Now it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you Manny Pacquiao. Manny comes from the Philippines. Now what does that mean? I think when we think of the Philippines, we think of a number of things. I know, growing up as a young boy, I remember the Philippines for their graciousness and kindness. I remember during the horrible time during the Holocaust, where the doors of most countries of the world were closed to those fleeing the Holocaust, including this country. The doors in the Philippines were not only open, but welcoming. And they took in thousands of refugees fleeing the Holocaust on the order of the President of the Philippines, Quezon. We know what graciousness and kindness the Filipino people show. We have to only visit a hospital in California, in Nevada, 
80% of the nurses are Filipinos because they are gracious people and kind people. But I also know growing, growing up that at the start of the Second World War, I'm old enough to remember that, that the Philippine troops fought side by side with the Americans against the Japanese, defending their island, Bataan, Corregidor, and other places. And when the American troops, because of lack of supplies, were forced to surrender, the Philippine troops took to the mountains and the jungles and became guerrillas and fought tooth and nail against the Japanese for three long years until General MacArthur came back. So we know the graciousness and kindness of the Filipino. <laughs> Exemplified by this man, Manny Pacquiao, who gives fortunes away supporting charities in the Philippines, whether it's founding hospitals, schools, building churches, supplying fishermen with motors so they can increase their catches getting out to the deep water quicker. He is legendary for graciousness and kindness. But like those Philippine warriors, he has a fierceness about him that most Filipinos have, a toughness. He is a fierce fighter who doesn't quit, who gives its all, and will bring his best on May 2nd. I present to you now the WBO welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Thank you, Bob, and I would like to thank God for uh, giving us and providing us a, a wonderful day, a beautiful day, and giving us strength. And I want to thank um, uh, Showtime and HBO for helping to make this fight happen. And also uh, Mayweather um, our team, uh, Mayweather Promotion, uh, Top Rank Promotion, and Team Pacquiao, and to all the media. To all the media and press, uh, thank you so much for all your support. And to the fans of boxing, I think, uh, I believe that is what are you waiting for since uh, five years ago. So I think uh, the fight is on and you're very excited, you know, you're very excited. And we're both of us, uh, we're going to uh, uh, undergo a hard training for this, uh, this fight. And we, we, we will do our best. and. and and made on May 2 to, uh, to make you happy. And the most important thing is not to, to ask to me or the most important thing is the name of the Lord that the name of the Lord will be glorified. And I want to know that there is God. I want, this is this I want, I want to know the people that, you know, I want to let the people know that there is God who can raise from someone from nothing into something. And, and, and that's me, that's me. I came from nothing into something. And that's, I owe everything to God to give me this, this blessing. So, it's all thank you, Lord. Thank you to all the fans, especially to the Filipino people who are always uh, supporting me. Uh, are, they are watching now live on TV and are, some of them, of them is, are here. And I would like to thank uh, Freddie Rhodes for, uh, uh, you know, for being uh, uh, very uh, nice to us, Tim Pacquiao, for being nice to me and Bob Aron. And, you know, that's, uh, that's what we call it. Our team is, uh, we have loyalty in each other because we've been working since 2001 until, uh, until now, 2015. And I think we're the longest uh, teamwork in, in, in boxing history. <laughs> as, a, as a coach in, in Baxter, and also my promoter Bob Aron, um, it's my loyalist to them. So thank you, 
for uh, trusting me. And God bless you all. Every great fighter has a great trainer. And I'd like to acknowledge none other than his father and trainer. He's one of the top trainers in the world and has been for many, many years. Um, none other than Floyd Mayweather Sr. <clears throat> this next man, he really doesn't need any introduction. He's been pound for pound the best fighter in the world for many, many years. He's 47 and old with 26 knockouts. He's beat everybody in the sport. Come May 2nd, it will be no different. He's the current WBC welterweight and super welterweight champion. He's the WBA unified welterweight champion. And he's also the WBA super champion in the super welterweight division. He's averaged over a million pay-per-view home every time he fights, which is the highest average ever in the history of the sport. He's been named the world's highest paid athlete by Forbes magazine, ESPN the magazine, and Sports Illustrated which is truly a testament to his great popularity around the world. On May 2nd, he faces another great challenge in front of him, and fellow world champion Manny Pacquiao. This will be a fight the whole world has been waiting to see for quite some time. Once again, Floyd is out to only prove to the critics why he's been the best fighter, not only of this era, but many other areas. He will go out, come May the 2nd, and he will show you why he's been the best, and they call him the best. And they call him the best because he goes out there and proves it every fight. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the pound for pound best fighter on this planet, none other than Floyd Money Mayweather. First off, I have to thank my, my father, unbelievable trainer, unbelievable person. You know, I want to thank Showtime, MGM Graham, so many different social media outlets, the fans, Team Pacquiao, top rank. It's been a long road, but we're here now. Um, Al Heyman, re remarkable guy. You know, if it wasn't for Al Heyman, my father, Leonard, and my team, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So I wanna say thank you. Um, May 2nd, the fight of the century. It's all about the best, fighting the best. And Pacquiao is one of the best fighters <coughs> of this era. And everything's about time. And you know, I think we couldn't choose a better time. You know, our game plan is just to be smart and take one fight at a time. Like all 47 fights. This is a fight that the world can't miss. This is an unbelievable matchup. Action-packed fight. I'm in a gym working right now, dedicating myself to the sport, pushing myself to the limit, because I never wanted to want to fight so bad in my life. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna push himself to the limit because he wants to win just as bad as I want. He, he wants to win just the same way I want to win. One, but one thing I do know about any sport, when you lose, it's in your mind. If you lost once, 
it's in your mind. If you lost twice, it's in your mind. From day one, I was always taught to be a winner, no matter what, be a winner. Push yourself to the limit. Stay focused and be the best that you and be the best that you can be. Steven Espinosa, I want to thank you. Richard Stern, I want to thank you. Bob Aaron, Team Pacquiao, because without everyone together, we couldn't make this fight happen. So I have to be thankful for us coming together as one so that we're able to give the world what they want to see. Mayweather Pacquiao. Everybody that's tuning in, we want to say thank you. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to see hashtags on Twitter, uh, Instagram, shouts. May 2nd, that's when the world stops. I want everyone to tune in. <laughs> Mayweather Pacquiao, the biggest fight in boxing history. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.